Hey guys, welcome back again in MUO Sigma classes. So hey guys welcome back again in MUO Sigma classes and today in this lecture we are going to discuss on a very important screen it is called sign in screen if you haven't watched my previous video please go and check out those videos first and then you can see uh, you can you know realize that like what uh, we are doing in this current video and uh, if you will go back you can see uh, we have app intro slider you can see we have three screens here so we have developed this also all right so when you click on this get started you will get this screen so, so here you can see uh, we have this sign in screen so we are going to implement this screen all right so this is what we have the code here here and the major thing when you click on the sign in button here you can see you will open this ui right all right so we have this screen we have this home we have this login all right so at this point you can see we have this login.js and you will find the sign in we don't need this bottom sheet as of now so i'm just uh, commenting this and here you will find this is now a button right this is a button and here you can see we have this text if i'll change something text like this you will find a changes like this you can see yeah so if you will click on this sign in so we have to make on press and for example i will show you the alert yes working all right let me just show you the alert first yeah you can see this alert all right so i have to navigate to the to this component this sign in component but before that we have to make this component so let me just make another folder login with um cred.js or this is a folder name right so this one and uh, this will be my architecture i'll create always index.js file file and then i'll create a container container.js and then i'll create another file called login with cred.js all right in the index.js i will you know um i'll export and then we will make a default and from container all right container perfect in the container i'll create a uh, react um class based component like this and this will be the view not dev so this will be the view and i have to import this view from react native all right so as of now this is the view we have and also i have to import my login with cred from the location all right and i have to use this here like this correct okay so i have to navigate to this login with cred here i will make a functional based component and again i have to import this important line here in this and this will be the view this will be the view all right so i will make uh, some style here so this is called the inline styling you can make a separate styling uh, in a different component in a different file or in this file only in this file also you can create this style all right using the style sheet but as of now i'm just putting flex one here and this is the justify content center and the align item is in the center that's it all right and uh, here i want to use some text for a demonstration so i'll use text like this text all right and hey welcome in login with cred all right perfect here we have the index.js here we have the container all right just delete this container not delete this just cut this tab actually 
and here we have this login.js so when i'm going to click on the sign in text i have to navigate to this you know login with tag component so um first i have to set up this into my stack so here we have the log, uh, navigation index.js and then we'll have that login root all right and here you can see we have intro page login page verify page so i'm going to create another you know for login with thread perfect login with cred and i'll import login with cred and uh, here you will find the login with login with cred and this is what the um, what the important feature you can see this architecture have um you know uh, uh while when we are creating the, the login with cred folder i'm creating index.js value file right so this is the very important thing you have to understand this point first because uh, whenever you are creating a folder and uh, you are navigating to that folder so by default it will navigate to the index.js value file right and then you can navigate according to your requirement so this is this is why uh, this is what the reason behind of it like why i'm creating the index.js file here so by default it will navigate to the index.js and here i don't need to specify the exact uh, you know uh, navigation here like uh, index.js i'm not going to this because by default it will basically navigate to the index.js right so uh, this is now perfect fine and we have to set the constant navigation i mean navigation constant so this will be logged in with cred like this and just cut this tab and now it is perfect fine so here we have this login.js and i have already created my uh, navigation service you can see here and this is what i don't need just delete this clean the code and this this is what you can see this is function navigation right so if you pass your route name you will basically navigate to that route name you, here um, this is the sign right so i have to use the navigate but before that i have to import first so i don't need bottom sheet so i'm going to delete some of the things from here just delete this whatever i don't need here port and then we will have something here from um from the navigation from this uh, navigation folder under in this we have the navigation service right perfect here we will have the navigate sorry this is not exact that i want this this is correct navigate and here i will have the sign in text this one and i'll use this navigate function here i can pass my params like a like uh, i can pass the payload whatever i want to share the data from one screen to the another screen and i can share my route name also so this is my route name now you can see this oh this is not a route name i have to call this no login with cred login with cred perfect all right correct yes so now you can see uh, we have navigated to that component but the problem is we got exception this is the text uh, we can't find this text because we have not imported maybe so i have to check yeah this is the text we have to import from the react native package like this i hope now you will see uh, the text in between just wait okay not you are not getting you are getting the component but you are not getting that text here okay what is the problem now okay I have to see the things first so just need to pass props as of now for example and here we have the container okay so we have already passed you know the view so we have to pass uh, uh, we have two options here we can delete this view like this and just done all right so you can see this text uh, just in the center of the screen or in the previous condition you have to pass the style with the flex one nothing else you can see now this is working fine right so um i don't think so we have to use this view because this is not necessary this is not working because this is not we are using here right so 
this is not in the use so we can delete this view and uh, you can see we have the we, we, we got this text just in the center of the screen so you can see this navigation this is very important thing you have to understand this point first uh, when you are working in project in react native project so under in this uh, this component you can see we have this uh, as of now we have this text but we have to make this view so 